Hey guys, sorry I couldn't find uh, the best place to film today, but this will have to do. I have something pretty exciting in the box today, so we're gonna open that up. As a disclaimer, I'm not very good at these unboxings, so hang in there with me. I'll try to make it short, try not to stretch it out too long. Here it is. Looks so good. Here's, and then you can dominate. Another silk top. It's a super classy kendama. Tama of this kind. Something exciting from Kendama USA in here. Got my Japanese knife to open it with. I'm like nervous and like shaking because I'm on camera. Invoice. Here it is. Wyatt Bray, Kendama World Cup 2015 Commemorative Model Limited Edition. Awesome. So cool. So what's really nice about this, it's called a Commemorative Edition or a Commemorative Model Limited Edition because it really commemorates Wyatt Bray's win last year, 2015, of the Kendama World Cup. So it's kind of devoted to him and his win and all of the things that involved it. So, you know, it has how many points, you know, USA, number one. On this side it shows, uh, you know, what he used day one. I believe it's a, I believe it's a TK-16 Ken with White Bray's fav favorite Tama has the, the three stripes. And this one's pink. And then on day two he used the Turner Thorns green. So we have the green three stripes and that's where this Tama comes from. On the back, it kind of talks about a little bit about Glocken and, and has some pictures here. Really nicely put together package. So let's open her up. Woo! Looks so good. I might try to have some B-roll running here um, because uh, it might be nice for you guys to see it up close rather than me doing this the whole time. So it tells you what it includes down here. Has the nice Kendama World Cup little drawing. That moment, realizing I had won the Kendama World Championship was an experience and memory that I will cherish. Something that I'll look back on and say, that is one of the greatest times in my life. Wyatt Ray. All right, let's open it. I believe we have pins and things in there. Not sure what's in there. Here's the sleigh towel. With the three with the three green stripes still on it, which is super fun. All your standard um, Kaizen packaging with extra string and stickers and whatnot, and then the kendama itself. All maple construction. I believe this is the only, or maybe I think the Alex Smith kendama might be maple. But other than that, this is the only all maple kendama that Kendama USA has made which makes it quite unique in addition to the fact that it's Wyatt Bray's limited edition. Limited edition, so I, I emailed the Kendama USA customer service guys and asked them what a limited edition meant, just to be clear, and it, they, they only made one run of them. It was a big run, so there's a lot available, or so they say, but once that run is out, once they're out, these will no longer be available to, to, to buy from Kendama USA. So that's, that's one of the reasons that I jumped on it, was to make sure that I could get one. I have one other silk Tama on a, on a tribute, and ooh, it seems even better. It seems different than the other one. It's really nice. It's really classy. It's, it's a super classy Kendama. His signature is cool with the emblem here, 2015 KWC. It's a super classy Kendama. Oh, I forgot to open this stuff. Got pins, the three pink stripes that is his favorite, and the three green for this particular kendama. And then sleigh, you got a sleigh flag, sesh for the sesh, children of the ken, never soft, united we slay. Pretty great. So I think it's a pretty, I think it's an awesome kendama. I'm really excited to have it uh, just because it's a piece of history and it's unique and um, they have uh, Kendama USA. It's the only 
Tama of this kind with the three stripes uh, in silk. All the other, all the other three stripe Tamas like this are that, that kind of traditional glossy paint. So it's got a lot of unique things going for it, and um, I'm excited to have it. Too bad that I'm such a beginner that I can't really, <laughs> I can't slay yet. But I will, uh, I will attempt maybe to do a trick I haven't done before with it or something. Um, if you're just joining me, I am at the tail end of my 30 tricks in 30 days. It's a kind of a beginner kendama vlog where I'm trying to push myself to learn new tricks quickly and to try to progress quickly and by by um, by making a goal to do 30 tricks in 30 days and post it online a new trick each day kind of forced myself to learn more tricks and so today is trick uh, today's number 27 out of 30 so we'll see I'm not sure what trick we're gonna do today I might try a few and see what I come up with Wyatt Bray's pro mod or Wyatt Bray's KWC commemorative edition limited mod will be what I use let's see what we can do Okay, so today, today we're gonna do one turn lighthouse. I know this is not a very difficult trick, but for me, who's only been playing a little over a month, it's pretty tough. So I'm gonna try it. I haven't been able to really hit it very well at all, and I'm definitely not very good at my falling in from regular lighthouse anyway. So we'll see how it goes on the white bray mod. See if that oh. gives me extra slaying abilities. How do they adjust, man? I don't have a pro to do that. Hey, hey, got it. Got it, got it. There you go. Ah. Oh. I'm flipping it too high. I feel like it's going too high. I need to be more controlled. Here we go. Oh. Yes. So clearly I need to work on my falling in, but that's trick 27 out of 30, one turn, one turn lighthouse. Can't really do that trick, but I did it today. White Bray, slay like white Bray. <laughs> 